Hey guys, and welcome into Anno 1800. The hype is real, and Sunken Treasures was released about an hour and a half ago. I have jumped into the game here and created a little starter city to get myself to 700 artisans to unlock that new content. We're about 100 people away, and I thought this would be a perfect time to turn everything on and get started and jump into this with you all. I have not actually seen anything about the new DLC other than what I've read on the blogs on Anno Union. I did not watch the stream, so I don't know much about the quest line. I vaguely know what the new map looks like, so this is all going to be new for me. Our main focus is going to be in that new region, and our little city of Stockfisk here is probably going to be kind of just a little side project for me off camera, things like that. So if you are as excited as I am, go ahead and tap that like button down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to get new updates from me. I plan on releasing at least, try to release two episodes per day for this new DLC until we get through the quest line and everything. And then we'll move on from there and see what we want to do next. So with all that out of the way, Hi. let's get our last few artisans we need and see what happens. Upgrade a few more of these. That'll work. That'll work. 660. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 700. There it is. Okay. What's it going to do? Is it going to do anything? Oh, there it is. There it is. Where is our queen? Breaking news. Her Majesty the Queen seems to have vanished. No official statement has been released as yet, but Her Majesty Steward, Sir Archibald Blake, appeared frantic when seen descending the palace steps this morning. Suddenly, hot under the collar. All right, he has requested our assistance. Sail to the lighthouse, okay? Uh, you know, I think I may actually take the clipper. Actually, I'm gonna take both of them. Let's, uh, let's load up some materials that we might need. Let's load up all of that. We may, I don't know if we need materials or what, so let's just, uh, let's just get it all. Ah, I'm so excited for this. I have, I have not played Anno 1800 since last week, uh, when I ended our St. John's Bay series, so I'm excited to be back in the game here and see what this new DLC has to offer. I know it's got a lot of neat stuff in it, and I am so excited to give it a try. Uh, I think these guys are going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be okay on everything for a while. I may have to go build a little bit here and there, but we'll do all that. I'll do all that later on. Stations. All right, here we go. Now, here is a vital matter of queen and country. Okay. A bold new expedition. Yeah, we haven't even gone to the new world here, so that'll be later. Uh, dear friend, what you read in the news is true. Her Majesty is gone. My one consolation is that her absence seems for, by choice, for she left me this parting note. Don't fret, Archie dear. I'm off south to restore our imperial glory. We'll return when that's done. Please, can I trust you to ensure, to ensure her safe return? I must remain here to allay the chaos in her absence. Launch the Sunken Treasures Expedition. Okay, there it is. The queen has vanished. Okay, so we need rations, hunting, diplomacy, and navigation. Okay. Um, I could simply go to press. Well, unfortunately, that's got like nothing that we really need on it. Okay, so the clipper is actually going to be our best bet here. So let's grab up a few things we're going to need. Fortunately, I'm not going to have any of that. Because I didn't make any of this kind of stuff. Okay, we can toss in some schnapps. Okay. You look as radiant. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Uncompromising journalism. Okay, let's head back to home here and let's grab. Let's make some schnapps real quick. That's uh, quick and easy. Although we are going to need some more farmers for that. That's fine. We'll just go back and unload some of our goodies that we had loaded up here. We'll build a uh, schnapps up here. Just say the word. Okay. 
Schnapps will give us diplomacy. Or no, it's uh, it's medicine, isn't it? Shoot, hold on. No, 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 it's medicine. I think beer was diplomacy. Yeah, beer's diplomacy. Hunting, it's force. Do I have anything that gives me hunting right now? Because I don't have any uh, any people. This might be a little. Oh no, no, no. Okay, flower gives rations and hunting okay so we're just going to be short on diplomacy it looks like which i might just say go go ahead and say that's fine uh let's see anything else uh i do like to let's go ahead and get some stuff for wood here okay so 50 of that we'll take bricks for construction materials let's just go ahead and start that expedition let's get this underway okay well while he is underway let's uh just go ahead and kind of muck around here with the city see what we need to do that's all good that's all good we need some we need some sausages i think uh we'll just watch these two it's at seven to eleven please don't leave your crate on the now, another thing they have changed is the trade menu here has changed. So we're going to buy this. And so now there's two different things here. We can set a minimum stock. So minimum stock is your ships will not take goods if your stock is below the marker. So this is for your ships, I do believe. So we want to define, uh, let's just keep 30... Oh god, I love this menu right here so much better. Okay, we'll keep that at 35. Uh, steel. Again, let's just uh, take that on down to 30, let's say. Soap, I'm not worrying about. Uh, fish. Fish, we'll drag that down to 25. Yeah, that'll work. And it does look like our sausages and bread are going down, so let's get another thing of that going real quick. Game safe. Eh. Didn't lay that out quite right. Set another sausage thing. Okay, good. Uh, red is not doing too awesome. But instead of building more, oops, instead of building more of that, let's just bump this up to maybe 25. And uh, we'll say 25. And. Five. Okay. That'll help them out. And I guess I can go ahead and give them some schnapps. I guess it's not going to really hurt if I do that. I don't know how many of these I need. So we'll put down two for the moment. And we'll see if that's going to be enough. That, that might be enough schnapps. We'll see. Let's fast forward everything here. Alright, expedition is underway for the Flagship for the, the uh, new region. I think it's called Cape Trelawney. An adventure? Don't be scared if our Wibbly can also do it. Only that cost us workers. Need more. A few more houses. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's just do this number. Alright, good deal. Probably gonna need another uh, market and pub access is fine up there. Okay, good. All right, that should give us all the farmers that we need now. Just keep an eye on that schnapps production. 
Uh, you know, actually, I think we're okay on bread. I think we're, I think we're like right at the amount of bread that we have to have. So I think we'll be okay on bread. Not even gonna worry about building all like the canneries and all this more expensive stuff on this down here. I'm not right now. Not important. Endless ratty days. Having that schnapps will inc uh, will move our uh, happiness up a little bit to kind of counteract some of this other stuff. Yeah, moving that up to 25% kind of has just enough balance that right there out. So good Attention on that. All right, let's see what can we do now while we wait. Well, I guess we could go ahead and send off. Let's just go ahead and do the uh, the New World expedition with our flagship here. Preparation. Faith, crafting, and hunting. Okay. We'll take the endeavor. Um. Faith and rations. I know that's not much. It's only ten, but really don't have much bread at the moment what was it that gave me hunting I gave medicine rations oh it was the flower that gave hunting and I don't really have any more of that uh, let's take some of that do I have any items uh, actually, I do. Oh, that helped. Wow, that helped a lot. Okay. Um, as far as hunting goes, we really don't have anything else. Let's just go ahead and start with that. That'll be good enough to get us to the New World. The New World expedition is pretty simple. It's pretty. It's one of the e it's one of the easiest ones. So, get our all of our expeditions underway here. Uh, we need to upgrade the warehouse here. And let's kick this into overdrive. We careen into the unknown. Ah, okay. There's our first one going. A royal progress. It is no coincidence, coincidence that the Trail of Roses left in Her Majesty's wake has ended in this pretty continental town. But what could have caused her to cross a narrow sea poppy flecked fields and a mythical river valleys she has not simply waltzed over for the ambiance this is the heartland of her maternal family line she is here with a purpose she's a queen there must be sign of her somewhere a nearby castle or country residence of course eliminate all other factors and what remains is the truth as the sleuths say the queen would never be content to stay in town calculating you are no more than two days behind the queen's retinue you're able to draw a circle on a map that encompasses only a handful of suitably regal stopovers. It is now but a question of exactly which of her landed relatives she came here to visit. Yes, you don't have any diplomacy stuff. Use deduction. You sneak upon proof it is her cousin Ernest she is visiting. Visiting, While the prince's welcome is polite, his stiffness of manner alerts your suspicions. When after tea he gives you the freedom of the ivy-clad castle, you waste no time seeking signs she was there. You find paper on the desk in a guest bedroom impressed with quill marks and making make a rubbing. A letter from the queen to her handmaid. It largely concerns itself with Ernest's handsome looks. When you raise the subject with Prince Ernest, he becomes rather twitchy. Uh, see, I don't have any of these. Okay, let's just try one. From your movements, I sense that you too are worried for her welfare. The subtlety of your deduction surprises Prince Ernest. He nods silently and falls heavily into the ornate chair behind his desk. She asked me to help trace our shared lineage, to establish the validity of certain claims she thinks has, she has through her ancestral ties to La Corona. Ernest pauses and crunches nervously on some recently acquired shortbread. 
She had wanted to do it alone for once, but she's taking a great risk, and I have now decided you must go after her. There's to be a masked ball in uh, Monagaski. Monagaski? You will find her there. Okay. Well, let's provide extra rations and continue. Good deal. Well, what shall we do in the meantime? I guess we could upgrade the houses for fun. We all like a nap in the orchard. Yeah, and that's not, I mean, it's not a bad looking little town. It's pretty, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but... The goal was to get to 700 people. I did unlock a, a new little ornament. Let's toss that down. It's a... What is this? That's an interesting shaped little ornament. There we go. Where did you say you come from? A little, uh, a bunch of gears. It is called the, the Gears of the Era. see another biscuit. The artist's intention was to encapsulate the spirit of the Industrial Revolution, its technological advancements, and the labor movement. Cool. That's a nice little statue right there. That's the only, the only uh, Ubisoft or Uplay Club thing I have unlocked. Please don't leave your crate unattended, sir. Uh, now I have redone the mods and stuff for this particular playthrough. Uh, I might as well want to show them to you real quick. Just so you can see what kind of mods I'm running, uh, I've adjusted them quite a bit from what was up before. I'll wait for these expeditions to go on. I didn't realize it was going to take so long. Uh, here we go, mods. Okay, so I am running... I've changed this up. I'm actually only running with uh, the, the language filter removal. Cargo storage, that's the one that I really wish I had done in the previous one this lets you build some warehouses on the eye on land instead of just in the harbor it's for it's just for aesthetics it looks really cool um, you'll see once i start building them they may do, do make things look really neat and i have my ornamental stuff turned on uh, except for the world fair and remove electrical wires and the clay and oil covers that's that's all i'm running with i actually changed uh I no longer have Southern Rivers reduced turned on, so the Southern Islands will be as they are in Vanilla. The map seeds are going to be as they are in Post Anarchist, and Increased Zoom is turned off because we now have an option for Increased Zoom under Gameplay. Increased Camera Distance. So it is right there, and you can zoom way on out now without a mod. So, yep. Just a few, just a few ornamental mods, and then the uh, one for the cargo storage, which does not unlock until engineer level. So, all right, come on, game. Is he still trying to? Uh, yeah, he's still working his way down. Goodness. Flagship ready for just orders. Stick that up into overdrive here, and I guess we'll just keep on expanding our little town right here. Um, let's see. All this stuff is very costly, and I really don't want to have to build all that. Because I'm going to build all of it back in the main, in the new region. Oh, no, there it is. There's the new, uh, the new warehouses you can build. So, there is this model. Very, uh, I love this little model right here. The medium warehouse is the same, except just a lot longer. And then there's a, it's a double one. So it's just some interesting little options for more warehouses. Can make your islands look a little more interesting, a little more unique, especially around industrial areas. So you have you know, warehouses. I know there are some other ones. Oh, you can change the look of it slightly. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see. I don't have any bricks at the moment. I also don't have... Actually, I would mind having a uh, storage 
harbor up here. Go. Toss in a little storage harbor. Increase that storage. We have the devil to face. All right, finally, here we go. Too cultured for us, scrubbers. The masquerade at Monegasque. Following Prince Ernest's advice, you travel by train along the sparkling Cote Turquoise to a grand station in the sophisticated principality of Monegasque. Ruled for six centuries by the Piedmont family, today the streets of Monegasque are filled with color and light, for it is the grand opening of its very first casino. The theme is Animal Masquerade, and you see disturbing furred and feathered costumes at every turn. Convenient for a queen going incognito. Prince Ernest gave you his own invitation to the casino, but you'll need a costume. Okay, let's make a costume of our own. Cunning and resourceful, you acquire and combine every accoutrement needed to give you the appearance of a fox. Twirling your cat gut whiskers and dashing up the marble steps, you brush, you brush slyly past the casino doorman, and once inside, debate your best bet for finding the queen. Ah, oh, God, I wish I had some of these. Uh, mingle with high society? Ah, okay. You can't tell anyone here apart. As far as you're I concerned, they might as well all be princes, queens, movie. and kings. Suddenly, a f silence falls over the room, and the Prince of Monogoski himself, a man with Im an improbably thin mustache, makes a long speech about how the casino will bring back the good times for the Piedmont family. And finally, I notice we have a special guest. He smiles, at which a sequined elephant promptly rushes for the door. Oh, your majesty, wait! But by the time you forced your way outside, her carriage has set off at speed. You wave another cab down and get in. Okay. Well, let's continue on then. All right, that's all still doing slightly okay. I'm, I'm all right with the numbers there. Well, I know this isn't super exciting. I really wanted to hurry up and get to it. I, hopefully, we'll be done with this here pretty soon, and we can jump into the new region. Although this episode might just be trying to hunt the woman down. Oh, that's right. We were making schnapps. How is our schnapps doing? Okay, schnapps is great. Good on two two schnapps. Distilleries was perfect. I haven't really uh done any exploring, as you can see here. Uh, here's a. We do have a uh, Willy Wibblestock on the map with us. We're playing on. Uh, this is technically advanced, I believe. I don't know if there's a way to show it anymore, but. Mm, no, I don't think there is. But we're playing on advanced level. Uh, is it all achievements? A lot of the... Uh, well, I mean, it's just advanced. That's that's all there is to it. It's on advanced level, and... But we are playing with two easy AIs. We're playing with Willy, and we're playing with uh, Binta. So... I kind of tweaked around the settings a little bit to make it stay on advanced instead of easy. Except I'm playing with easy, too easy opponents just to, uh, so we can kind of focus on this new landmass and all the building. That's a nice Pop little, with me own made eggs. a nice little grain farm right there. Actually kind of set off the road with a little, with that going to it. What's all the way back here? Oh, he has got a little, just a small settlement back there, I see. Um, is that another clipper? Or is that a Taking frigate? That's a frigate. Um, Excellent. I will actually take that frigate. I'm... It wouldn't be bad to have one. Know that any assistance may influence um, her Okay, Majesty's so a pickup yeah. quest. Oh. You can rely on us. We'll flot some up here. Okay. Well, while that's all going on, we're waiting for that expedition to pop back up. A few other things about how this series is going to go. Unlike St. John's Bay, I am going to limit the type of items I use in trade hall, in uh, trade unions and town halls. I am not going to use any items that alter production chains. So the ones that give you, uh, like I had the ones for the bakeries that gave you chocolate from the bakeries. I'm not going to use those. I'm also not going to use anything that gives you free stuff. So the, uh, the numerous Mr. Garrick's that I had in St. John's Bay, Mr. Garrick provides any engineer investor with bank access, pocket watches and jewelry. I won't be using things like that. Uh, I won't be using things that, uh, have a, 
additional output so the ones that give you say penny farthings uh from making i forgot what it was actually there was one that gave you like penny farthings from making something else so nothing like that no free items no no chef michaels that change up how the canneries work i want to have to build everything as is so it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me because i got really spoiled in the last episode in the last season i mean with all of those really cool items they are really cool items but i would like to try to do a series where i don't use anything like that the types of items we will use are production boost modifiers ones that adjust the workforce and max residence ones that give you bonus income stuff like that uh, but nothing that gives you just free stuff basically so we're gonna have a lot more production chains going on have to build a lot more stuff it's a, should be a, provide a bit more challenge i won't be doing all the building on screen though with as large as the island is or the land mass i should say rather is in the new region it's going to be just unfeasible for me to build every little thing on camera what i plan on doing is doing a lot of building off camera and then during the episode, I will kind of give an overview of what I've done, what I've built, and save interesting stuff like expeditions. Uh, the main quest line, obviously, will all be done on camera. I will not do any quest line stuff for uh, for the for the DLC off camera. All of that stuff will be done on camera, but a lot of the major building and trying to get everything figured out where it all supposed to go that's all gonna be done off camera because it's not exactly the most interesting to watch so okay so there's that um all right let's see what happens next the cape of trelawney the queen fled the casino at high speed and your own carriage is some distance behind your driver thinks she's headed up the coast perhaps to a ship she can either keep up your pursuit, uh, you can either keep up your pursuit or else rush to your own ship, which, if the orders you gave to the captain have been followed, should be waiting, waiting at the marina. Let's get to our ship. Your ship is indeed waiting at the marina. Quickly, you rouse the captain and his crew and weigh anchor. Before long, Tweakling Monogoski is behind you, and from the next bay you spot an impressive ship in the distance. How was she able to leave the port so fast? Okay, let's stay in pursuit. Eh. A limp effort the queen bellows over at you as you struggle to bring your ship alongside the gigantic flagship. You would never have caught her had she not taken pity on you and slowed down. You better meet me at the Cape of Trelawney if indeed you are capable. Slightly hurt, you point your ships toward Trelawney, the southernmost point of the old world, where not 15 years ago... A great naval victory was won over La Corona by the heroic Admiral Nadoski. The lap of victory is there waiting for you, and the Queen receives you rather icily aboard. With a gulp, you are finally able to ask why she has run away. Oh. oh! Oh, look at it! I am not here to escape domestic dissatisfaction, but to address it. Our nation has lost its pride, but pride can be restored. This place, Trelawney is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney, yet all the spoils remain in the back of the society. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the depths along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest victory. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, a trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. Oh my god. We shall build a new capital of the realm here, perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it, and find the scepter, and I shall designate you... Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. Holy crap, guys, look at that big old island. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm in love. 
Oh my god, I'm in love. Look at that. <gasps> a humble cultivist, no. But it promises to become the largest capital of my empire. Sail over. Oh my gosh, look how big this landmass is. Oh, look how. Look at that. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, it's huge! Oh, that's so cool. What have we got on the island? We've got potatoes, grain, hops, and grapes. Uh, four clay deposits, nine iron deposits, seven coal, three zinc, four copper, three limestone, and five oil. Holy crap. Oh, wow. That is an impressive island right there. Very, very impressive. Some nice, uh, very nice. Oh, you guys. Oh, look, there's a shipwreck. There's our ship. There's one of the shipwrecks that we have to explore once we find old Nate. And, uh, there's some new. I oh, look at this little bitty island. It's itty bitty island. Hi. I see more shipwrecks. Can't click on that one. Alright, come on, buddy. Get on up there. Oh, there's shipwrecks all along the shores. Oh, this is such a beautiful island. Oh, there's a cave. Ooh, that's kind of mysterious. Good and ready. More shipwrecks. Oh, this is just awesome. Alright, there's the HMS tube worm. <laughs> okay. Okay, the HMS tube worm, huh? Ah, you're ready. Yeah, that was that one I turned in for him. Okay. Fish and bibbly. There she blows. Okay, so that was that one back there. Okay, let's build a trading post. I really don't want to build it right there, I don't think. I'm well maybe we do. I don't I'm not loving the uh that, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We can build it wherever we want. All right. Um, I... Oh shoot! Come back over here. There we go. That's what I needed. Right, let's go over there and pick that stuff up before it goes away. There we go. Okay. From the memory of the victory my father masterminded. A shining new jewel in the crown of my empire. On our way. Alright, cool. Well, guys, we have finally found it. We have settled the, uh, the new city of Crown Hi. Falls. Wait, why is that not? Oh. There. We have settled Crown Falls. The queen is happy with us. Our first objective here is to uh, settle 100 farmers in the in this new settlement and do some exploration around the area so look at this island this is so awesome so many islands all right there this is this is just fantastic i'm i am loving this oh it'd be so cool if we could build like a really cool statue or a big lighthouse right on this little island tip right here oh that'd be so cool there's so many so many possibilities but guys that's all gonna have to wait for the next episode i hope you have enjoyed we have finally made it here to cape trelawney and the I massive landmass an impish little man yeah we will do that in the next episode your majesty but again i hope you've enjoyed if you did go ahead and leave a like down below and i should have another episode up here in a few hours to continue on with the cape trelawney until then guys see ya